Ahoy, Captain Benzi here coming at you with another Intel report. Today we're looking at the GDI Shockwave Troopers and not Flame Troopers, as these units are functionally identical. Shockwave and Flame Troopers are the barracks main answer for real anti-infantry punch. With sonic weaponry and flamethrowers, these two units will melt enemy infantry at a frightening rate, but they are slower to move and more expensive in cost than riflemen and militants. On top of their damage to enemy infantry, Shockwave and Flame Troopers also do significant damage to enemy structures such as Lieutenant Strongarm's turret, Kane's Obelisk of Light and, of course, your opponent's base. Their only real concern against infantry comes in the form of Nod Chemical Warriors, or other Shockwave and Flame Troopers. Of course, anti-infantry vehicles will pose a challenge to them, as will airborne threats like the Nod Venom that they cannot target at all. That all said, both Shockwave and Flame Troopers are able to soak up a surprising amount of punishment and make a great defensive unit for holding the launch pads in the early game. I hope that helps. Happy sailing, and see you on the battlefield.